I got one here. Go over me, go over me. Go over me. Hold on, I'll be right there. Wait, 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 wait. Hey YouTube, this is Eric and uh, super excited getting ready to go on a 30 hour tuna trip on a new Buccaneer. I've tried to get on four of these. This is the fourth one. Had the first three get blown out, lost a 56 hour, etc. But look, it's super excited. We got a good crew, a bunch of people have been fishing before. Mr. Fam's here. Matt's got the spot. He's gonna take us out to catch some tuna. All right, so for this trip, I did the usual, we'll go to the 61st Street Pier and catch bait. Unfortunately, I spent a couple hours and half a bag of shrimp for four fish this big. So I've got those four fish, so I'm gonna try and drop them down and catch a scamp. But my focus today is gonna be on catching bee liner and uh, catching tuna. So number one, they're really improving the, this area. They're making it a lot bigger slip. So you're gonna come in and do your normal boarding. Uh, what I always do is, first thing I do is go get the electric reel device. So I have a place to put my electric reel. So I've got that, it's loaded up. I'm gonna be on spot 71 today, over here on the uh, port side. For those of you who haven't seen the inside of the boat, this is what the inside of the boat looks like. So these are benches that we convert into tables, but it's also benches that you sleep on at night and uh, during the day to try and catch up on some sleep. So everybody's got their stuff in here, it's all boarded up. So I went ahead up top and secured my uh, milk crate so I can put my rods in there. Got my electric reel in there. All my other rods are inside for now. As we get closer to the fishing spot, I'll go ahead and put them together and get them all set up. That's what it looks like. Get ready to set sail. Keep you posted. Today it was supposed to be three or four, but you can see the seas are flat calm. We're making some good time because obviously in the winter you don't get that much daylight to do your bottom fishing time. So Matt's trying to get us out there quickly so we can catch the bottom fish before we head out to tuna fish. It's one of the things I haven't really talked about on this video. Food. The food here is really good. This is a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich for breakfast, as you can see. It's what you would get at any grill. So, really good food. Get ready to chow down and get some sleep. Third spot, we're in 330 feet of water. I decided to go with the two hook combo. We've got uh, pinfish on the bottom, piece of squid on the top. People dropping already, already hooked up. This looks like snapper, so we'll see. I'm just doing my first drop here. Just getting ready to hit bottom, 330 foot. See if I can get a scamp on this pinfish. All right, we're on the bottom. get a grouper so pool is never a good thing yeah how far down are you bottom pit fish it might, be some, it might be an amago jack uh which would be good too because you can yeah there you can keep it have a guess i just don't want a big old age here's red snapper yeah which it could be a snapper with the head pops They fight like a grouper. Now it is, it's just kind of dead weight right now. If it's a grouper, it's a nice one. Nice one too. Yeah, not what I wanted, man. 
trophy fish. But unfortunately, red snapper season's closed. <laughs> yeah. It's probably my personal best red right there. It is a beautiful fish. He's probably still chewing on one. See the porpoise coming up. He's like, yeah, let me check and make sure it doesn't have a line in it. Okay, it looks safety heat. Let me double check around here. trying to hook some bee liners one of the things I gotta do when I reel it up is not reel it up too fast so I shake them off the nice thing about the electric is you know exactly how deep you are so I need to go down to 83 meters
double. Yay! We can do it. Got the double. Triple. Yeah. Three. All right. Nice. Grab that one on the bottom. He's a big one. Sweet. Finally. Jeez. We just dropped the rig and reeled him in one at a time. <laughs> He's probably still chewing on one. Porpoise coming up. He's like, yeah, let me check and make sure it doesn't have a line in it. Okay, it looks safety heat. Let me double check around here. Thank you guys. Alright, so this is the video. We're getting ready to get to Hoover. So it's actually the first time I've ever hit fished Hoover. Offshore oil platform, probably about uh, 20 miles past Nance and Boom Bang, and probably another 20 miles from Perdita. But we're getting ready to hit Hoover. It's pretty deep. We'll head out there and see if we can get on some tuna. First cast of the night. Should be an exciting night. Not seeing anything breaking on top or anything splashing around, but uh, we'll start to see what's going on here in a minute. rod this is Watch yourself. Hold out. Fish on. There we go. There we go. Fish on. Come on. Watch your right. Watch your right. Watch your right. Go, go. Go, go, go. He's going the other way. Come on. I'm, I don't know if I'm under you or over you. Tell me. I can't see. I still can't see, just keep going, just keep going. Let's go with that, go with that. Just keep fighting your fish, man. Here you go, here you go. Okay. Alright, go for it. What's up, going out? Yeah! yeah. Watch, watch the right here. That bucket's going to be in play right there. Uh, try, guys. Watch out, watch out. Okay, right there. Okay, I'll be standing. Watch the front 
Watch out, guys, coming through. Hot rod. Yep. Go, go, go. Hot rod, hot rod. <sighs> hot rod, hot rod. Tuna said, I gotta play too. Come on. Okay. All right, come on, come on. Come on, you get it. You get it. He's got a foot. Okay. Oh, right. Watch your gaff, man. Watch your gaff. Going out. Uh, yeah. Probably. He's a not small fish. Did you start on the helper? Right? I did. Until I saw you catch one on a two on a popper. <laughs> That's loose of poppers. That's wrong, right? 
When the fish are biting on poppers, that's what you want to do. That's all I want to do. Badass when you bite on poppers. Especially if I get on video. I hope I did. I'll try. Yeah, it is what it is. When they're busting like that and ripping across the top, shit. It's just freaking and that insane. Got up, yeah. Couple times. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, let us Come on, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Throw. Going out. Yeah, we got color, we got color. Let me get in there. Go for it. I'm gonna slowly squeeze here real quick, guys. Just cast out. This. this is an epic trip. Fish, baby, these are biggins. They're biggins. Woo! Nice! Woo! One thumb to it, huh? One fifty, bro. That's about a one fifty, bro. Woo! That must have been like seven or eight yelps for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. Big ones, too. There's no babies in there. Is that yours? Yeah, yeah. Mine was every bit of 90. Yeah. All right, so we're still, we've been fighting this tuna for what? About three years now? Four yeah. years? And uh, trying to get him up to Keller. So far, everybody on the boat's taking a turn. And uh, now we're back to the captain yeah, starting again for it. turn two. Just starting to see the Keller. We got into a mad school of big fish. This is probably the biggest one so far. The biggest one we've seen on the boat, the boat somewhere between 130 and 150. Moving down, moving down, hot rock, guys. Watch out, guys. Got the cap himself, Matt's on him. Matt'll get this fish in. Matt's the closer. Bring Matt in to close the deal. Kid Deep Keller. He's a big fish. Taking drag, starting the pinwheel. There he is, way out there. You can see the killer. That's a beast of a fish. 